Hi, I'm Greg Kamishek with Bio Research. What we're going to do is go through using the flowchart to look at a normal joint vibration analysis trace. First, what we'll do is we'll simply, in the Biopack program, open our patient list, find our patient by typing in their last name, and here from the review mode, we will open a trace, select the trace that we want to review. And the first thing we do is blow it up full screen and take a look at the vibrations from the right side and the vibrations from the left side. This green line, as you saw from our data taking video, is the animation open and close that you're opening and closing in time with. So we use this to estimate patient opening and closing. In this trace, you'll notice that there are no vibrations except where the green line comes all the way to the top. That's my teeth hitting. So I have no joint vibrations in the right, no joint vibrations in the left, and if we look at our numbers, we can see that I have a maximum opening of 55 with no deflection at maximum opening. This is what a normal TM joint will typically look like. Uh, we don't have vibrations on opening or closing. We have a normal range of motion. We have no deviations or deflections. If we decide that we want to mark an area, we can do that by simply moving our vertical cursor anywhere in the trace, marking it with the green X, and we get our numeric measurements. Now, this is a very low total integral. The total integral is the power of the vibration. How much energy is there in this popper click? This is measured in newtons per square meter. So, for the left is 2.0, for the right is 1.6. If we look at our flow chart, when we do the flow chart, the first question in every one of the root systems is, what is the total integral? In this one, in the upper left-hand corner, the range starts with 0 to 20. 20 to 80, 80 to 300, and 300 to 1,000 in the lower right-hand corner. Well, total integrals of 1 and 2 fit between 0 and 20. The next question is, what is the patient's maximum opening? Mine is 55 millimeters. That solidly fits between 40 and 70. The next question is, what is the high frequency energy, the energy we see most commonly with hard tissue vibrations? Go back to our biopack. The energy greater than 300 hertz is 0.5 on both sides. So when we look at our flow chart, 0.5 fits between 0 and 0.3. The last question is, is there a severe facial asymmetry? And if we look at the patient's bite, in other words, my bite, I don't have a severe mandibular asymmetry to the left or right. So what we do is we, this actually just boils right down into the normal or Piper stage 1 TM joint classification. Next we're going to look at a joint that does have vibrations and use the flow chart to break down the right side and the left side so that we can compare them and categorize them so that we can not only look at what are some potential treatment options and consider that in our joint diagnosis, but we can also then after we apply any treatment, whether that's TM joint treatment, crown and bridge, orthodontics, dentures, sleep appliance, um, we can compare the impact on the jaw joint to those mechanical changes of the way the mandible relates to the maxilla.